in this video we will be solving uh, intermediate level questions from exercise 1b and starting from question number 3 find the largest whole number which is a factor of both 42 and 98 now for the largest whole number which is a factor of 42 and 98 we need to do prime factorization of 42 221 times 42 37 times 21 71 times 7 similarly do prime factorization of 98 249 times 98 7 7 times 49 71 times 7 write down the factors of 42 and write down the factors of 98 now you must write the same factors in the same column like 2 which is a factor of 42 and 2 which is a factor of 98 they must be written in the same column moreover 3 a factor of 42 uh, is written at the second place while there is no 3 as a factor of 98 98 hasn't got any 3 as its factors so instead of leaving this space empty enter 3 raised to the power 0 over here next uh, we have got 7 from factors of 42 and we have got two sevens from factor of 98 so it's right seven square over here in factors of 98 but the column must be the same now because we have to find hcf hcf so you will you will take out uh, the number from each column having the least power we have 2 power 1, 2 power 1, so 2 power 1 will be taken out. Then we have got 3 power 1, 3 power 0. So least power is 3 power 0 in this column. So take out 3 power 0. And then least power from these two 7s is 7 power 1. So 7 power 1 will be taken out. Now 2 into 7 is 14 as 3 power 0 is 1. So 2 into 7 is 14 will be the answer for this. Question number 6, uh, sorry, question number 4 is intermediate level exercise 1 BD 1 7th edition. The number 792 and 990 written as the products of their prime factors. The 792 is in terms of the product of prime factors in index notation is 2 cube into 3 square into 11, while 990 is 2 into 3 square into 5 into 11. Hence, find the greatest whole number that will divide both 792 and 990 exactly so the factors of 792 are written here 2 cube 3 square 11 and factors of 990 are 2 3 square 11 and 5 now this 5 raised to the power 0 is included here in the factors of uh, 792 and the reason is that uh, there was no factor of 5 in factor of 792 so i have to complete the column over here having fives in both the places so when a factor is missing you can enter the number with power zero now because you have to find that cf to take out uh, the number with the lowest power from each column like from the this column the column of two i will take out two power one because it is least uh, as compared to two power three then from this column take out 3 raised to the power 2 from this column take out 11 power 1 no, no, the powers are same so take out the same one and here we have got 5 power 0 as the lesser power so take out 5 power 0 in case of hcf take out least power from each column of the number ok now from here 2 3 square is 9 into 11 into 5 power 0 and 2 into 9 is 18 11 over here 5 power 0 is 1 any number raised to the power 0 is 1 18 into 11 is 198 question number 5 says the number 176 and 342 written as the products of their prime factors are 176 is equal to 2 power 4 into 11 and 342 is 2 into 3 square into 19 hence find the smallest whole number that is divisible by both 176 and 342 now in this question we have to find the smallest whole number divisible by both 176 and 342 so now we are looking for lcm over here here we were looking for numbers 
here we were we were looking for the greatest whole number that will divide both of them now that is hcf now when you are looking for a number that is divisible now that is lcm so now take the lcm of 176 and 342 now 176 is 2 power 4 and 11 and 342 is 2 into 3 square into 19 now 3 power 0 is entered over here to complete the column of 3 19 power 0 is written here to complete the column of 19 and 11 power 0 is entered over here to complete the column of 11 now from each column take out the number with the least power mean 2 power sorry i am sorry because we are looking for lcm to so take out the number having maximum power from each column because in case of lcm we have to take out the maximum power from each column so 2 power 4 from here 11 power 1 so 11 power 1 is greater than 11 power 0 take out 11 power 1 and from here take out 3 power 2 and from here take out 19 power 1 2 power 4 is 16 11 power 1 is 11 3 power 2 is 9 into 19 and you will get 30 0 96 as your lcm question number 6 is find the smallest value of n such that the lcm of n and 15 is 45 again lcm of n and 15 is 45 now because lcm of n and 15 is 45 so write down 15 as as product of its prime factor 15 is 3 into 5 no n is unknown n is not known now what are the possibilities that uh, n can have what type of numbers so i i may write it over here 3 i may write over here 5 but because because i have to take the lcm and to take the lcm i need to take the maximum power from each column as the lcm of n and 15 is 45 so i have i have to select the numbers in such a way that this result must be equal to 45 like 5 into 9 is 45 so you may write here 3 square because the reason is very simple you will take the maximum power from here as well as from here you will take the maximum power now from here from here the case 1 will be and you may take n 3 square and 5 the reason is simple when you will take maximum power from here it will be 3 square from here and from here if i will take 5 over here so here you have 5 power 1 here you have 5 power 1 so 5 power 1 will be taken out so you know you can calculate the lcm 9 into 5 is 45 the lcm is 45 we have to get lcm as 45 and I can get this 45 by using these numbers as first case. But if the second, the second opinion is that if you can use n and n is 3 square and 5 power 0. Suppose n is 3 square. If I take, uh, if I take n 3 square and if I don't write 5 over here, mean I have to write 5 power 0 because here I am going to write 1. This is a possibility for n and has two possibilities and maybe this and n maybe this both will give you the same lcm this one will be the lcm in both the cases like if i am considering this one and this one from the factors of 15 now from 3 and 3 square 3 square will be taken out because i am going to take the maximum power as is the process says in lcm and from here 5 power 1 and 5 power 0 i will take out 5 power 1 so the lcm is the same 5 into 9 45 now the lcm is same either you take this one as n or this one as n but the question says that the least value of n so if you have to take the least value of n then this must be your choice 3 square that is 9 so question number 7 says hoxian needs to pack 171 pens 63 pencils 27 erasers into identical gift bag so that each item is equally distributed among the gift bags to so find the largest number of gift bags that can be packed and the second one is the number of each item in a gift bag 
As far as part 1 is concerned, the largest number of gift bags that can be packed, we have to find the HCF of 171, 63 and 27. Now working on the HCF, the factors of 171 are 3 squared into 19 and this 7 power 0 is entered here for a purpose. Let me explain in this line. 63 is 3 square into 7. Basically, 63 is 3 square into 7. 19 power 0 is entered here for a purpose to fill this column. 27 is 3 cube. 19 power 0 and 7 power 0, they both are entered here for a purpose of completing the column of 19 and 7. The answer will not change. 19 power 0, 7 power 0 is 1. So, basically, you have to complete the columns. Now, here you have got factors of 3 as a factors of all of them with varying powers. So, 19 was missing over here and over here in factor of 63 and 9. So, we have to enter it with power 0. Any factor which is missing in any line, enter it with power 0 to complete the column. Now, in the process says you have to find the HCF. Now, HCF can be taken out. Now, HCF is basically now, from each column, take out the minimum, minimum power that is 3 power 2 in this column, taken out 3 power 2. From this column, take out the minimum power, the 19 power 0 is minimum, taken out. From this column, take out minimum power and 7 power 0 is minimum, taken out. 19 power 0, 7 power 0 is 1 and 1, 3 power 2 is 9, so 9 is the HCF. Hence, the largest number of gift bags that can be packed are 9 in number. The number of each item. Uh, in, in bag is no number of pens total were 171 no, divided by the HCF so 19 will be the number of pens and pencils will be 63 were total divided by 9 that CF will give you 7 and erasers are 27 total divided by 9 that is 3. So this will give you the number of each item in a gift bag. In the last part of intermediate level, meaning the question number 8, two race cars, car X and car Y, they are starting at a point of a 2 kilometer track. Okay, there is a track and the track is of 2 kilometers. Now, this is a track and this track is of 2 kilometer. This track is of 2 kilometer. Car X completes one, uh, one complete uh, mean circle, one lap in 60 seconds, whereas car Y that is a bit slower one, completes one lap in 80 seconds. Now, the question is, question is, how long in seconds will it take for both the cars to be back at the starting point at the same time? Now, <clears throat> you can approach this question in two possibilities. One of the possibilities, easy to comprehend maybe, and that says, no, one lap is completed by car X in 60 seconds, whereas car Y will complete that in 80 seconds. Lap 2 will be completed by car X in 60, mean one lap in 60 seconds, then two lap in 120 seconds by car X. Three laps will be completed by car X in 180 seconds, simply add 60 seconds for one lap. Then again add 60 seconds, so 240 seconds, after 240 seconds, 4 laps will be completed by car X, while car Y will take 80 seconds for 1 lap, 160 seconds for 2 lap, 240 seconds for 3 lap. That means after 240 seconds, car X will be at the starting point because it has completed 4 laps, while car Y will be at starting point after completing 3 laps. Both will be at the starting point, but car X has completed 4 laps. Obviously, after completion of 4 laps, the car X will be at the starting point and car Y has completed 3 laps, but it is at the starting point. So, after 240, 240 seconds, both the cars will be again at the starting point. The second approach is to find the LCM of 60 and 80. That is simple. Take the LCM of 60 and 80, do prime factorization of 60, do prime factorization of 80, now write down the factors of 60 over here and write down the factors of 80 over here, enter the missing factor that is a factor of 60 but not a factor of 80, 3 is a factor of 60 but not a factor of 80, enter it with power 0. For LCM, take out the maximum power from each column, 2 power 4 from here, 3 power 1 from here, 5 power 1 from here. So, you will found out that your LCM is 240, the same answer as we have discussed. The second part 
is how long in minutes will it take for the faster car which is car x seven sixty seconds ahead as its time to be five laps ahead of slower car slower car is car y now this is again very simple now first of all after four laps car x has completed four laps and it has consumed 240 seconds while car y has completed three laps and it is also it has also taken 240 seconds now that mean now that mean car which is faster will be one lap ahead of slower car after 240 seconds after 240 seconds there will be a difference of one lap now if one lap is a difference after 240 seconds then 5 lap will be having 240 into 5 that is 1200 seconds difference now in minutes you can convert 1200 seconds into minutes by dividing it by 60 so 20 minutes will be taken when there will be a difference of 5 lap between faster car and slower car now this was the solution of intermediate level exercise 1b d1 7 edition in the next lesson i will upload the solution for advanced level so keep watching thank you so much